In this video, we're going to look at how we can create this simple lower third title called the center reveal. To do that, we're gonna do three things. First, we need to create the text. Second, we're gonna apply the effects. And third, we're going to animate the text. So let's see how we can do that. First, we need to create the text in the project bin, right click and add the title clip. Here we can type in our text, then you can use the alignment to align the text. You can also change the font style here as well. Now that we have that let's click create title, let's drag our title to the timeline and to zoom in more control on the middle mouse button. Now that we have the text now, I have increased the size of the text here so that we can be able to, for the purpose of this tutorial, now let's apply the effects. To apply the effects, we're gonna use the crop by padding. So come to the effects panel here, click and go to the search box here and then type in crop. Then you have the crop by padding. Apply the crop by padding to it. So make sure to apply to crop by padding. Select the clip, place the playhead right in the beginning of the clip. Now come to the effects, come to the effects panel, and then we have the AWE width here. Now that the width default value is 1280. This depends on your video resolution. So in the width, we wanna crop the text from the right side to the center here. To do that in the width, click and drag towards your left side to crop the text right to the center. The marker still at the beginning of the clip, go down to the second crop by padding. To do that, we're going to use the X value. So in the X value, the default value is zero. So let's move the X, so the X axis and crop that text right to the center. Now that we have that, let's move the playhead somewhere here, maybe make it 10 frame in. How do you know it is 10 frame? You can look up here. This is where 10 frames, so you can also type in the number of the frames. You're moving right inside here now that we have that let's go to the first crop by padding add a keyframe. Go down to the second crop by padding add a keyframe and then go back again to the first EDU since we know that the default value here is 1280. So let's just select this and type in 1280. So we reveal the text again. Let's do the same for the second crop by padding. We know that X value, the default is zero. Let's type in zero. So that's the intro. Now that we have the intro, let's create the outro where the text is going out. So for the purpose of this, let's place the playhead somewhere here in frame 48. Add a keyframe for both of these crop by padding and then move to frame 55. Add another keyframe again at frame 55. And now let's crop the text out again. So when we're going to crop back all the way to the center and then select the keyframe since you have moved the playhead, select the X value and crop right to the center again. So here is the outro. Okay, make sure to change all these keyframes to linear keyframe interpolation. To do that, select each of these keyframes. Come here to the keyframe interpolation and change to linear. Let's do the same for the next crop by padding, selecting the keyframe and change to linear keyframe interpolation. Finally, let's place a video on video track one and move this text to video track two. So bring in our video clip here. So let's check the final animation. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do that. This will help us to create more videos.